Who knew that being caught flirting could be as scandalous as being caught offside? It turns out that these footballers have more than just moves on the field. They've got some game in the flirting department too. Here are nine footballers who were caught flirting. To begin with, days before the crucial Champions League final between Liverpool and Real Madrid, Lloris Carius posted a picture on his Instagram with the caption, Eyes on the prize. Little did he know that a former adult film star, Mia Khalifa, would leave a flirty comment beneath his post. Is he the prize? Mia wrote, accompanied by a couple of eye emojis. While it's unclear whether Mia's flirty message had any impact on Carius's performance in the final, some fans speculate that it might have distracted him, leading to his infamous errors that gifted Real Madrid two goals. But of course, we will never know for sure. To add insult to injury, Mario Balotelli couldn't resist poking fun at the situation. He left some cheeky double eye emojis beneath Mia's comment. Why always him? But why did Carius not win the prize? Well, because he took his eyes off the ball. Elsewhere, looks like Jack Grealish is a Love Island fan. Or maybe it's just his way of flirting with girls. He's been caught liking pics of Ekin Sue Kolkaloglu and even tried to slide into Natalia Zopa's DMs with a waving hand emoji. But he got rejected by Natalia's boyfriend who called him out saying, The best player in the Premier League tried to chat up my missus. Sorry Grealish, looks like you're not as good off the pitch as you are on it. And well, 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 looks like Ryan Giggs wasted no time in getting back in the game after his marriage fell apart. The Manchester United legend was once spotted grinning and flirting with a group of ladies at his restaurant just days after he had a breakup with his wife. I guess Giggs' charm is just too hard to resist for the ladies, even in his troubled times. An onlooker at the bar said that Giggs seemed to be in good spirits and he was laughing and joking with the girls. Moreover, there were a lot of his friends there and he was having a good time. Looks like Giggs' still got it. Now, let's spice things up. It all started with Sheffield United's striker Ollie McBurney scoring a crucial goal against West Ham after a blunder from their goalkeeper. But little did he know that his weekend was about to get even better. After the match, he tweeted, Enjoy your weekend, Bladesman, signalling that he was really happy. And it caught the attention of porn star Elle Brook. She replied with a suggestive message that made McBurney blush and respond with hearty eyes and a kissing emoji. Looks like McBurney's weekend games are better than most single guys out there. Similarly, it seems he can't keep Phil Foden out of the headlines. According to reports, British makeup artist Lucy Jones claimed that Phil Foden had allegedly tried to court her while on national duty. She said that Foden sent her a picture in his England jersey and allegedly said that he couldn't wait to get a hotel room with her. However, Jones ended their fling when she discovered that Foden had a son with his girlfriend, Rebecca Cook. But this isn't the first time Foden was involved in something kinky. Foden, who was 20 years old at the time, and his teammate Mason Greenwood had previously been dropped from the national team for breaching COVID-19 protocol by sneaking two girls into their hotel room after their debut against Iceland in the UEFA Nations League tie. Well, it looks like Phil Foden just can't resist the thrill of the chase, whether it's on or off the field. But let's hope he doesn't end up getting a red card for his flirting tactics. Speaking of another incident, oh, Cristiano Ronaldo, you cheeky little flirt, you. Back in Euro 2016, Portugal weren't doing so well initially, but that didn't stop CR7 from having some fun. During training, a couple of girls caught his eye, and he couldn't help but flirt with them. I mean... Who wouldn't want to flirt with the then Real Madrid star? The girls definitely knew how to make him smile. And who knows, maybe those girls gave Cristiano Ronaldo the extra motivation he needed to lift the Euro 2016 trophy with Portugal in the end. But let's be real, this isn't the only time Cristiano has gotten flirty with the ladies. More on that in a few seconds. The next one, oh boy, seems like Miss Bum Bum, the Brazilian bombshell, spilled the beans on how she got to know Gerard Piquet. Apparently, Piquet didn't waste any time sending hot messages to Susie Cortez, asking her the measurements of one of her body parts. Ooh la la! Cortez didn't hold back and made it clear that Piquet was the one who made the first move. She revealed that Piquet got her number through former Barcelona president Sandro Rosell and continued to message her on Instagram, constantly asking about her return to Europe and obsessing over her tribute to Messi. 
Hey, have you heard the one about Lana Rhodes? I mean, who hasn't, right? But get this, apparently a famous soccer player slid into her DMs. Influencer Mike Majlak, who was also Lana's boyfriend at the time, told in his vlogs that a famous soccer player had slid into his girlfriend's DMs. Fans speculated that it was only the usual suspect, Bale, who matched the criteria of $80 million and 43 million followers. However, Bale didn't respond to the rumours, and it seemed the reason for that was his wife, Emma Reese jones Alright, let's talk about CR7 and his flirty past again. Back in the day, he was caught sliding into former AC Milan midfielder Kevin Prince Boateng's fiance Melissa Satter's DMs. Yeah, you heard that right. The guy was trying his luck with someone else's girl. But hey, we all have our moments, right? And who knows? Maybe Melissa was just not that into Kevin Prince. Fast forward to 2020 and the couple announced their divorce after four years of marriage. Not sure if CR7 had anything to do with that, but hey, who knows? Maybe he has some secret powers of attraction. But let's not forget that he's also a family man now with Georgina and the kids, so we can safely say that he's off the market. Okay, okay, that's more than enough info for the day. While you're at it, please like the video if it's informative. Also, subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any videos we post. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.